What's up guys, Snowshovel here again with some more ABA footage. Uh not really footage, another commentary. And today, uh I've got a kinda long one. This is like about seven minutes long, so um got a lot of talk. Got a lot to talk about, so let's get started. Um Well this this uh specific game is a play with the GM and GS event. We'll be hosting a lot more of these in the future. Um, this one was very small. It wasn't really that big of a, an event. I mean, there weren't any prizes, but we will be hosting uh, more events like these where you just play with us and we'll have prizes for you guys and uh, it'll be fun. Um, so yeah, we're playing with uh, our special guest here, Paul Mark, uh, the GM for area. and. Uh, I talked to Paul Mark uh, yesterday and a couple days ago about uh, some of the issues ABA currently has right now and what we can do to try and fix uh, the current problems that ABA has. And um, oh, the big one uh, I think that's on everyone's mind is the hacking issue that we currently have. Um, hackers are running rampant and they're everywhere, uh, especially in the co-op area. They're they're just everywhere. Um, there's people XP hacking, there's people aimbotting, OPKing, walling, um, and it's just, it's really bad. And there's no way we can have a true competitive scene with all this going on um, unless we have an anti cheat that's viable. And right now, Game Guard is just, a, it's a terrible solution. Unreal Bot and other uh, cheating sites are just patching right through it, sometimes within minutes, which is pathetic. So we really need to try and find a new anti-cheat, if possible, or a new sort of uh, architecture that can try and prevent injections from happening in this game. And a lot of the issues with that are the fact that a lot of things in ABA are client-side instead of server-sided, which basically means um, information about your character is... Uh, from your client, not specifically the server. Um, it, that I, I don't want to go into too much detail about that, but basically, because everything's client-sided, it allows these hacks to even exist, like OPK. So yeah, that's a very big issue. I talked to Paul Mark about that, and I've talked to other GMs at Area about this as well. And we're really going to try and push the envelope for new anti-cheat or new architecture that will try and help prevent uh, the current hacking issue. And that would be the first priority that AV8 needs. Um, I really stress this a lot, so I really hope they do something about this. And if they do, then we're headed in the right direction. Um, a couple other issues that AV8 has currently that I also addressed are uh, things that may be out of their power. And what I mean by this is that it's developer. It's a developer issue, and they'll have to take it up with them because Ari is a publisher and Red Duck is the developer. Um, and the way that works is that Area basically hosts their game and Red Duck is the one creating all the content. They're the ones doing pretty much all the bug fixes for the game. So they have to communicate with Red Duck in order to get these fixes to happen. And they have to justify the man hours to get the, to get the fixes to work. And you know, Red Duck is a company that really, I feel they drag their feet a lot on a lot of uh, issues we currently have. And that's largely because our player base is so small. But if they would just realize that if we had a proper anti-cheat and a uh, community that was competitive, and if the bugs were fixed, then we would have a very active community, and this game would be taken a lot more seriously. So, there's content that needs to be balanced in the game, um, specifically guns, Desmodus, Para, MK3. Desmodus specifically, because it's very... Uh, easy and overpowered weapon, I believe, and a lot of uh, Red Duck employees I've talked to also agree with that. So, I'm going to try and push for some uh, gun balance, and I'm going to try and um, get these GMs to try and communicate, try and communicate this to their project manager, and hopefully he'll relay the message to uh, Red Duck, and try and uh, stress the need for uh, gun balance. Uh, that's that's one of the issues. Um, another issue would be uh, I can't think right now. Um, clan marks, uh, clan mark icons. We're gonna try and find a new a new way of uh, structuring 
how you get clan icons uh, next to your clan. And right now, in the current situation, we have very illegitimate methods of acquiring that. No one's really uh, actually clan warring to try and uh, compete for these clan icons. They're just farming uh, in-house with their own clan, and that's something that we really need to fix. So we're going to try and get that fixed. Um, another issue um, that I discussed. I can't even think right now. Um... I'm sorry, I, I just, I don't, I don't even remember, uh, other issues, um, oh, we discussed a chat disable feature for the GUI, um, the HUD, like, uh, you can see right now there's chat on the screen, um, we're gonna try and implement an option where you can basically just toggle this on and off, um, this will look really good for, um, montages, for example, um, not having the, uh, text in the bottom left. Uh, would make it would make the screen look a lot cleaner and uh, it also helps you kind of concentrate in those certain situations instead of reading the text and it might also prevent you from uh, well it won't prevent harassment but it'll help you ignore it because a lot of people do get spammed uh, like me for example so we try to implement we're gonna try and implement a chat disable feature if possible that's something like I said before is something that Red Duck will have to develop but we're gonna push for that and there's a lot of other things uh, we're gonna push for but um, expect these uh, updates to occur hopefully within the future um, area doesn't have the game yet but when they do we're really gonna try and push for these updates um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video um, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time